bà sốt đây này từng học này, ok, dương bàn chọc, việt bỏ dương, literature to the real to, cái dương bàn chọc, bị bị rương bảy rương ấy nó, ok, ta lấy cái này dương châu rương mình to tiếp bỏ dương, nè, ok, đại rương mình to này cái dương miền trung nông chúng ta the rain came, nè, đại nhật bản đại chris on God, nè, ok, chẳng, này cái gì video thì muối, nè, video clip thì muối này, riêng là bọc nhóm, nè, ok, riêng là rèn kèm, ok, ta, chẳng dừng chập đám ăn tiếng ở khía, the rèn kèm, grace, oh God, the chief a was still far from the gate that uh, when his daughter Oganda saw him. She ran to him breathlessly. She asked her father, What is the news, great chief? Everyone in the village is anxiously waiting to hear when it will rain. Labong O. Held out his hands for his daughter, but he did not say a word. Puzzled by the father's call, uh, attitude Uganda ran uh, back to the village to warn the others that the chief was back. The atmospheres in the village were te uh, tense and Confused, everyone moved aimlessly and shoved the in the yard without actually doing any work. A young woman whispered to her co-wife, "If uh, they have not sold this rain business today, the chief will crack." They had watched he, him getting thinner and thinner as the people kept uh, on pestering him. Uh, our cattle lied uh, dying in the years. They put it soon it will be our children and then our self. Tell us uh, what to do to so to save our lives, oh great chief. So the chief said, uh, had daily pleaded, uh, pleaded uh, with the uh, Almighty through the ancestors to deliver them from their great distress. Instead of calling the family together and giving uh, them the news immediately, uh, Labong O went to his own hut, a sign uh, that he was not to be disturbed, uh, having replaced the shutter. He sat in the dimly lit uh, hit to contemplate. It was no longer a question of uh, being the chief of hunger stricken people that weighed Labong O's heart. It was the life of his uh, only father that was at stake. At a time when Uganda came to meet him, he re he saw the glittering chains shining around the west. The prophecy was complete. In uh, it is Uganda, Uganda, my only daughter, who uh, must die so young. Labongo burst to into tears before finishing, uh, finishing the sentence. The chief was not weep. Uh, society had uh, declared him the bravest of men.
But Labongo did not care anymore. He assumed the position of a simple father and wept uh, bitterly. He loved his people, the law, but uh, what were the law for him? Vida Oganda her life uh, had brought a new life in the bong o's world and he ruled better than the uh, and then he could remember how would the spirit of the village survive his beautiful daughter there are no there are so many homes and so many parents who have daughters why choose this one she is all I have. La Bongo spoke as if the ancestors were there in the hut, and the and he could see uh, them face to face. Perhaps they were there, warning him to remember his promise uh, on the day uh, he was in throne. When he said aloud before the elders, I will lay down my life if ancestors and the life of my household to save this tribe uh, from the hands of the enemy. Deny, deny. Uh, he could hear the voice of his uh, forefathers mocking him. When Labongo uh, was mad chief. He was only a young man. Unlike his father, he ruled from many years with only one wife. But people mocked him uh, secretly because his only wife did not bear him a daughter. He married a second, a third, and a fourth wife. But they all gave birth to met to male children. When Le Bong O married a fifth wife, he bore him a daughter. They call her Uganda, meaning beans, because her skin was very smooth. Out of Labongo's twenty children, Uganda was the only girl, though she was a chief's of favorite. <coughs> uh, chief's favorite. Her mother co-wives uh, swallowed their jealous feelings and uh, showered her with love. After all. They said Uganda was a girl whose days in the royal family were more numbered. She would soon marry at a tender age and uh, live there in with inviolable position to someone else. Never in uh, his life had he been faced with such an impossible decision, refusing to yell to the rainmaker's request would mean sacrificing, sacrificing the whole tribe, putting the inter interest of uh, the individual above those of the society move than that it would mean disobeying the ancestors and most pro probably wiping the low people from the surface of the earth. On the other hand, to let Uganda die as a ransom 
for the people would permanently cripple Le Bonos spiritual. He knew he would never be the same chief again. The words of Nadity, the medicine man, still in cause, still echoes in his ears. But the, the, uh, there is an ancestor of the Luo. Luo appeared to me in a dream last night. The and uh, he asked me to speak to the chief and the people. Then, uh, Anditi uh, had said to the gathering of tribe. Trapsman, a young woman who has not known a man, uh, must die so that the country may have rain. While Budho was still ta- uh, talking to me, I saw a young woman standing at the lake side. Uh, he, uh, her hand raised above her head. Her skin was as a tender young deer's. Her tall, slender figure stood like a lonely reed at the river bank. Her sleepy eyes wore a sad look. Like that of a bereaved, bereaved uh, mother, she wore a gold ring on her left ear and a glittering brush chained around her waist. As I still marvels at the beautiful of his young woman, Poto uh, told me, out. Of all the women in this land, we have chosen this one. Let her offer herself a sacrifice to the lake monster, and on the day on that day, the rain will c- come down in torrents. Let uh, everyone stay at home on that day. Uh, lest uh, he be carried away by the floods. Outside there was a string stillness, except for the thirsty birds that sang lazily, uh, lazily on the dying trees. The bling, the blinding uh, midday. Heat had uh, forced the people into their huts. Not far away from the chief's hut to God were snoring away quick, uh, quietly. Labong O removed his ground and uh, ran. And the large eagle hit the uh, head that hung loosely, loosely on his shoulders. He left the hut and, instead of asking Niabogo, the messenger, to beat the drum, he went straight and beat it himself. In no time, the whole household. Had assembled under the Silla trees, where he usually addressed he addressed them. He told Uganda to wait a while in her grandmother's hut. When Labongo stood to address 
his household, his voice was hoarse and tears choked uh, him. He started to speak, but was refused to leave his lips. His wives, his wives and sons knew there was danger. Perhaps their enemies and uh, had a clear war. Had the clear war on them. Labongo's eyes were red, and they could see he had been weeping. At last, he told die. Uh, at last, he told them one whom we love and uh, treasure will be taken away from us. Uganda is to die. Labongo's voice was so faint that he could not hear it himself. But he continued. The ancestor have chosen her to be offered as a sacrifice to the lax monsters in order that we may have rain. For a moment, mo uh, there was that uh, silence among the people. They were completely stunned. And as uh, some confused murmur broke uh, out, Uganda's mother fainted and was carried off to her own hut. But the other people rejoiced. They danced around singing and chatting. Uganda is the lucky one to die for the people. If it is to save the people, let Uganda go. In her mother's heart, Uganda wondered that, uh, what the whole family was discussing about her that she could not hear. Her grandmother's heart was well away from the chief's skirt, and much as she strained her ears, she could not hear what they were saying. It must be marriage, she concluded. It was an accepted custom for the... Okay... This is the end of our part 1, so we will move to the part 2 in the next video. Thank you for your listening and reading after me and repeat it again. Thanks, I hope you will read it at home together. See you in next video. Bye bye.